So who are you calling about me? This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Lockchain.com. Um, 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 um. Are you on the Judiciary Committee? What's that? Are you on the Judiciary Committee? Yes, I am. I've got a question for you. How much do you know about this man who burned himself alive in protest of your system? I don't know anything about it at all. You never heard about Tom Ball, the man in Keene that self-immolated, killed himself to protest the Superior Court? And No, I'm afraid I wasn't up to date on these things. Do you think that uh, your system is so bad that people should be burning themselves alive over it? <laughs> that I'm very firm about. I think we have a very fine judicial system. And I'm very pleased with how the courts are working. Have you done anything from your position to reduce its power over people? No. I think it's reasonable what's going on right now. Have you done anything to increase its power over people? You know, we've changed the, the system around so it's faster and more efficient. Uh, but uh, it's treating people as fairly as a judicial system can do. What do you think is the most effective form of protest if someone doesn't like the way the judicial system operates? To speak to the legislature and suggest the change in whatever law would affect it. You think one person really could make a difference in that, or would they need a lot of help? Oh, no. If a person has a good proposal and submits it to his, his uh, representative, he'll get a fair hearing and could very well go through, but I don't know what, what specific law they could come up with. Okay, and, and you are? Paul Hackle. Okay, Mr. National. Hackle, I, I appreciate your, your time. National. All right, take care. Hi, are, are you on the Judiciary Committee? Yes, I am. I've got a question for you. Go ahead. How much familiarity do you have with the case of this man who burned himself alive in protest of your system? None. <laughs> His name is Tom Ball. He, he uh, self-immolated in Keene about two years ago in front of the uh, Superior Court. Uh, and I guess my question is, uh, uh, the video of this incident was suppressed. The, uh, the, the building where he did it, the people inside never would, they, they either destroyed the video or hid it from the public. Do you think this video should be made public? Well, I guess from the point of view of, of the family, I wouldn't think so. You know, I would, how would the family like to see that on television? Well, our family apparently didn't get to make that decision. It was made by the, either the, right, the sheriffs or the court. I really don't know which. It was and I don't know which either. So, yeah, um, you don't even, I mean, I don't expect you to know everything, and uh, you, know, yeah. you realize you don't know that much about the case, but you're not going to know if people don't ask you about That's it. That's right, yeah. So, so I'll have to look into it, but... Uh, if it was a relative of mine, I would not want it public. Yeah. All right. That that would be the way I'd answer. Representative uh, Luther. Luther, thanks so much for your time. So who are you calling about me? So what was just happening there is the lady inside that room apparently was calling uh, to report on me as she said that uh, Dave Ridley, Dave, you know, and then she spelled my name, uh, was here videotaping, but I couldn't hear what else she said. I'm videotaping people going into this committee. <laughs> Why did you slam that door on me, ma'am? What door? And were you calling who about me? <laughs> what? Here's my question. Who is that, by the way, who just went in there? I didn't see who it was. Okay. Uh, who was this... Who is this, this lady? Okay, uh, I, w I was just standing out here and I heard her, I guess, talking about me on the phone, so I took her picture through that door. Well, and she oh. slammed the door on me. Do you think that's appropriate? Or if something like that happened, would you say that was appropriate? Kurt, uh, I avoid anyone with a camera, with a notepad, 
<laughs> well, I at least, literally at do. least you're upfront Seriously. about it, but don't touch the camera. Ah, I didn't touch the lens. Put my hand over it. Well, you're admitting you touched the camera, and that's inappropriate. Oh. But it's also inappropriate to go around taking pictures of people. You're stealing my soul. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, at least you got a sense I'm of humor about it. No, I'm an American Indian. I Mr. Kalanicki, did you get called about me by the lady in that room? Are you investigating me? <laughs> Am I required to investigate you? Blockchain.info's free Bitcoin web wallet, chock full of privacy and security features, two-factor authentication, a second password for sending coins. They never have control over your passwords or your coins. They don't even require your personal info. Get yours today at blockchain.com. Um, 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 um.